Well, that could be a very, very good explanation. I mean, <laughs> the weather is uh, is not the best in the winter, obviously. Um, but uh, I mean, I think there are more behind that than just the weather. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are going to get this game on the way now. It looks like Mohammed has got a guest in the camera with him in the right oh. corner. She said it's Mohammed by Hatteren from PSV. And we have a side of that. Nabil, Nabil Bahui, I should say, of AIK to get this underway. It will be AIK king from left to right and PSV from right to left. But here you are, Brandon. Did these two teams ever play before? They did. It was back in 2012, Richard, where these two did play in a match. It was in the Europa League. It was in the groups, of course. AIK actually won a game and they actually drew a game. So they're unbeaten, AIK against PSV, Richard. I'm, I'm curious. Is this, is this a coaching situation? Is this just a plus one? Has he got a friend round? What what we what we're dealing with here, Mohammed? We need answers. I, go, I was thinking to say, you? Richard, I, I saw <laughs> the, the guy and thought him instantly, okay, he brought a coach to see here AIK with uh, the first chance and what I actually saw very fast uh, from uh, Mohamed Hazareth was that he was playing the narrow diamond which usually suits like pretty fast counter attacks uh, and high speed gameplay so that's not like just a, a formation you throw yourself into if you're not experienced with the game Practice so interesting there. start yeah definitely I agree with that as he yeah, split open right there if it wasn't for a fantastic save from the goalkeeper to keep this game Keepers level. off his line! Keepers off his line! Woo! He, uh, he likes to take risk. Start. I have to rent. Certainly under the cosh from the word go. He might have a coach in the corner. That coach, let to be calm with him right down now because Nabil is attack after attack after attack coming straight at him. There'll be another chance for him if he can get that through ball through. I'm gonna gonna ask you a quick question, Aga. When you're playing from home in qualifying, is it are you on your own? Do you have a coach maybe online with you? Do you have someone with you in person as Mallard looks to break the deadlock here, smashed across the goalkeeper, and big fist bump to the camera. Malin's he looked very, in. very chill. But yeah, when I play at uh, at like at lands and pretty much land qualifiers, I mean, sorry, and yeah, basically serious matches from home on. I'm definitely not as chilled as uh, as Mohamed Ihatran is right now. His coach looks super chill as well. I mean, uh, at the qualifiers, it's sometimes uh, I'd like to have a a guy or a coach uh, helping me out but it can also feel like it's uh, too much since you're uh, only with yourself at, at that given point it's not like there's a lot of circumstances you have to have in mind such as when you're at events so for me it feels more natural to be with myself when I'm playing at home but at events obviously I need a coach but after today as well Aggie I think you were spot on about that formation choice from a hat to he's been so quick going forward. Chance AIK, can he go for that finish? Fantastic save from PSV. But if we take a minute now to look at this build up, he's been having a few drag backs in there as I had to run. I mean, he's been kind of counted out in the midfield, so to speak, Richard. There's so many black AIK shirts in the way as that ball will go into the box and it's been a pretty rampant first 20 minutes or so in this game. Absolutely, yeah. You've seen the dink over the top. He's tried it a couple of times already, has Nabil Bahui. I'm just looking for that over the top through ball. Definitely something that he's potentially been working on at home. He's been practicing that intricate play on the edge of the box. Um, it's honestly, there's one player that surprises me that he's still at PSV, and that's Afalai, the Cam. I mean, he went what? He went to Stoke. He went to Barcelona. This was no. this was obviously after playing at PSV. Now he's back at PSV again. He had a lot of chances uh, to get back into the match, but for now it seems like that you need to be calm and collected, and Mohammed has been most calm and collected so far. You often talk about the Hatter, and that's a Mar cheeky little drag back. Ronaldo shot. He's putting on a show.
Yeah, as I would like to say is that with this narrow diamond uh, PSV is playing with, you can definitely see like the attacking patterns. They are very super fast, direct, and smooth. But on the other hand, leaves a lot of space behind, which AIK haven't been clinical enough to punish so far. Maybe now. <laughs> the classic he claps that piece of defended as well. <laughs> Bang at the controller. Come on, defend, defend better. What a play, short. Big boss, and there's the chance again. Another save. The keepers have been on flame today. Here at the stay and play cup. Another corner to come in. You just saw the goalkeeper moving, edging him towards the middle of the box there as well. It's a small intricacy. Agger, that make you think that they have to and definitely play quite a bit of FIFA with the goalkeeper movement and the drag backs, etc. It always gives you some sort of hints. For it, for instance, the first thing I saw uh, together with uh, Mohamed's formation was that he had his uh, trainer on, which is not so common to see. But then I noticed he kicked the ball out. Because he knew that he doesn't need the trainer, he had to put it oh, off. Beautiful. Here we see the counters once again. So they're definitely having some experience with FIFA, both of them. Certainly, it's both players playing themselves as well in this game. Here's another chance. AIK, they've been destined to try and get a goal. There's the comeback. It's a simple finish. And there's the equaliser. And it's a Dybala celebration as well from Burley. No, a little bit hooey. All business. When he squats that one past the goalkeeper. We've got to say that goal has been coming. It's been a pretty end-to-end -end game so far, but no, a little bit The chances finally coming out on top. The celebration, the entire face cam. I just love it all. And the coach. The coach being there. I've got so much time for not done yet. We are not done yet. Richard Ball into the box. Clear the way. Aga, what's your number one celebration on FIFA? Are you, are you as kind of a skip, skip the menus kind of guy? Um, really must dis just skip the menu guy. Just want the goals to come in and move on as fast as possible. That is the big chance. Game seems to equal out a bit now. Like there's a lot of chance in both ends. While in the beginning it was pretty much Snap Hill who had the the bigger chances. Um, but the elbow with the celebrations, I'm more like a skip guy. I'll be honest, what we've we seen so far. What, what, would, what would your celebration be? If you had to do a celebration, do you have one that's fair? I'll say uh, back, back, in the, back in FIFA 18, uh, I love to do the Daibala. The mask, okay. I think it, it was called which was my, my favorite, but somehow I forgot how to make it. So <laughs> if I have to be like, if I have to do a celebration, I have to be a little bit cheeky. I'd like to do the Muevelo. I think it was uh, Ibue who started this celebration. Of course, you're listening to the wise words of August Rosemeyer, to someone known as Aga in the FIFA scene, 2014. FIFA World Champion for Denmark. If you have just joined, we are in the Stay and Play Cup. Still day one of the tournament. It's AIK against PSV Eindhoven. It's 1 1 the scoreline. Maybe 2 1 as this cross will come in. Just a word on I Hatter, and he's been a, a player that's gone through the ranks at PSV, Richard. He's been with the club since 2010, so that's 10 years in total, and only recently just broke into the first team. Looking to get a goal. Go two one up into this game. He's had so many chances, Richard, where he's actually included his own player. I mean, in all honesty, both players have had a lot of opportunities in this game. It's been a another very competitive game. The first two matches that we saw, we saw real dominant performances from both Jespers. However, in this matchup, Maybe we're getting a little bit longer in the day now. Both these two players have had a little bit more time to potentially warm up. We're seeing a very good competitive performance. Here comes AIK again into the box. That's headed away very well. And I wonder what this coach is saying to Mohamed in your right top corner. Yeah, if for he's me, a coach, he seems uh, very chill, chilled out. 
maybe he's he's just there to give like some sort of relaxing vibe to Mohammed, make him feel <laughs> like uh, he's not playing uh, uh, like the final yet. I mean, uh, yeah, super chill, and it's it's pretty simple for me. Like every player have different ways of like getting into the zone or to be relaxed, be calm, to play the way you want to play the game, and. If that's the way that works for Mohammed, he should definitely do it. I mean, to me, he looks very relaxed. Looks like we've got a nice little sofa there. He's chilling. Could be a chance. Yeah, okay, now watch that cut back. It's going to be a nice finish. Will be. And a clever finish. Out comes that unique celebration from again. Is this the trademark celebration we're going to be seeing from Nabil Fahoui throughout the tournament? It was a fantastic cutback finish. The goal in the end, Silver picking it up. And those are the type of goals, Aggie, that, you know, there'll be people out there that used to call them the sweats back in the day. It's a smart finish. It's like a 99% chance of going in every single time that cut back. Yeah, it's uh, the safe goal, as you say. But what I liked about this goal from Nabil was that he uh, pretended that he was going to cut back the first time, but instead he went down to the goal line and then the space was there and basically it was a free goal so we've seen like some pretty good skill moves from both of the players so far i mean the drag backs is there the shooting feints is there uh the goalkeeper movement have been there as well pretty high level once again that's exactly <laughs> one of the the main sort of ways to score this year in fifa getting to the byline if you can get to the byline and then look for a cutback maybe implement the the double tap x pass as well and it's a slightly lofted pass you were super successful you, way of scoring you wonder why i was laughing there that was for he had that had that shot and there was just no conviction at all and he just looked at the camera in pure uh disgust at what his own throw just uh brought out for the effort we chance to have a psv if they can Try and break through with Thomas. He's done very well to get that ball. There's Bowie back involved into Silva, the goal scorer of the second. Into the last 20 minutes now in this game. As we said, whoever wins this will go through to play Phil Foden of Manchester City. How about that one for a round of 16 tie, guys? And I actually know a little bit. I know Phil Foden is a very good FIFA player. He's bodging oh, through the middle of the pitch. That. He brings him down. Up he stepped for the chance, and put it away. He's shushed him. He shushed him. Yes. I love it. I've got so much time for this. <laughs> and now that is so many drinks today. <laughs> chance for AI guy to snatch it. Snatch it. Look for the cup back. That shush was so cheeky. He's trying to get the boys up for it. Smacking the controller. His mate's loving it more than he is. Goes for that <laughs> cutback again. Chance for Hui. Oh. Oh. What a game. Fantastic display from both of these two. It really is. Everything that we need right now in the world. He's going to snatch this. Can you imagine a late winner for either, for either Bahui or Hi Hatteran to snatch it for a place in the round of 16? We've got just over 10 minutes left. How was that it's not a red card, by the way? We'll be going to Golden Goal as well. Let's not forget that. If this game does end in a stalemate. I don't think it was a red card. I mean... The referee is lenient. He was just wants to see the game go on. Seems to be a super, super tight match. I, I reckon next goal is gonna win the match. With this time left, eight minutes left now. Chance to build an attack for one of these two players. Which way will it fall? It's AIK with possession. Onto his forehand side, and he looks across it into the box. Is exactly what he will do. Yeah. John. Silver to snatch it, what a block at the back. Still not dealt with though. Larson, back to Silver. Silver, just... The chances are mounting up. 
for Nabil right now. He's over the corner. What is it short? For Hui. Happy to interchange that. Mikel on the edge of the box. Back to Silva to snatch it. That should surely do it. Four minutes left in this game. AIK looking to do the business again on PSV. They did it back in 2012, the last time they matched up on the real pitch, on the virtual one. It looks like the Swedes will be nicking a three goal to two win lay on. And the Scandinavian supremacy in the stay in the play court will be continuing unless we see some unbelievable late drama from PSV. I don't think it's going to happen as Silva snatches the ball into the final third, sweats it across, what a goal. puts it in the back of the net. Game set. And, and who match. was it? Who was it who scored? Mr. It was Bahui. Bill Bahui. Had a lot of applause for Bahui for that offensive gameplay. He's been super calm here in second half in front of the goal. Something he lacked a bit of in the first half. Uh, I think he deserved it in the end to win this match. Let's be honest, I'm... guys. We've seen plenty of goals. You saw six goals in that game, Richard, in the end. Four goals to two. AAK will go through. And we are losing. We've lost a French team. We've lost a Spanish team. We just about to, we just lost the Dutch team now, and the Scandinavian teams are continuing their run in the state and play cup. Richard Buckley. Not only that, but we're losing the coach, the only player with a coach. That is your winning player on the screen right there. Now Bill Bahui comes out with a four-two victory in the end. Congratulations yeah, to that man. The end. He gave us uh, so many celebrations. Well, we'll be speaking to him shortly, I believe. Uh, he's been giving us Dybala celebrations all day. He might give us one more if he can hear us. Is it going to come? Dybala? There, there we, we go. have it. One more. There one more it. for luck. With the there. Volta as well. Volta. Is it Volta? Is it Volta? Dybala, Volta? I mean, it could, we'll it. it could be both. We'll take it. Volta, Dybala, we'll take it. Um, but fantastic stuff in the end. A hat-trick for him. I'm oh, sorry, hat-trick. He scored a goal at the end, but he scored four goals in total. Fantastic stuff in the end. But Aga... Deserved winner, would we say? He certainly was more the clinical, the calm out of the two. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it was the closest match we had so far. Both players knew what they were doing, definitely. Uh, as I mentioned with the, the skill moves, there was a great variety. And I believe in the end, it was about taking your chances and be calm in front of the goal. And Nabil was the most clinical of them, and therefore he won. Awesome stuff indeed. Well, that goes, well, that's all that says, I should say, for that game. We lose, unfortunately, another big, big club in the, in the stay and play cup. But the Swedes do so well. AAK continue their dominance against PSV. Back in 2012, I said the last time they matched up in the Europa League here at the stay and play cup, they snatched the win. Aga, thank you very much for joining us in the casting booth. We're going to let you go back over to Jimmy and the rest of the guys now. Thank you, Brandon and Richard, and welcome back everyone to us, our beautiful faces, and Aga, of course. Uh, great game there, Aga. I'm going to kind of go on your coattails a little bit and say that was the tightest game so far. But I do want to give a shout-out to Mike, who switched his vote from PSB to AIK uh, right before the game kicked off. Mike, you look like a proper genius right now. Well, when I saw the selfie video, the confidence, how he was speaking to that camera, it was more so telling people, you need to tune in. I'm feeling good about myself. And you saw that. I think he made at least two to three times as many chances as well. He just didn't convert very well in the first half. It was all about being clinical. And Spencer, your PSV choice, unfortunate, lost it right there at the end. Yes, uh, I was a little bit concerned when I saw the way he was sitting with his, I guess that was his mate next to him. They're very <laughs> casual. I was like, what sort of posture is that for a professional FIFA match? Come on, pal, you're better than me. <laughs> and uh, we got his goal back and I thought, okay, maybe I'm wrong. And then it ended up going that way. But I was just doing some research into these Scandinavian teams because let's face it, it's getting a bit silly now. And um, apparently, uh, Bahui has just won there, says his dream final would be obviously the Swedish team versus the Swedish team uh, versus uh, Gordons in the final. Now, I looked at the bracket. This can happen. If he wins all his games and a player, Jesper from Gordons wins all his games, we could see an all-Swedish final. And let's face it, 
uh, other than the Danes, it's, it's, it's going to be someone from Scandinavia. Although, although, the next game we've got today is an interesting one because it's a Scandinavian team versus what I believe, I don't think Finland, Aggie will confirm this, but pretty sure Finland isn't actually classed as part of Scandinavia. It's just another Nordic country, but maybe it's a little bit closer geographically. They might be able to take someone from Scandinavia down. Yeah, it should be. Uh, a, I mean, that part of the region of the world is definitely dominating. Now, Aga, was there something that you saw in in his game today, that like in Nabil's game that really set him apart? Because he's the first player today that was down a goal, gave up the first goal, and came back and won. Uh, he's the first player that I heard that was having that kind of confidence before a match, and not so humble, perhaps, but very clinical and calm. And I mean, I like that. I, I, we, we need to have these sort of personalities as well. And I believe that maybe as a FIFA player, he weren't as good as the two Jespers. But we all know that mentality plays a big part in FIFA as well. Now, Mike, we saw Nabil score with himself for that last and final goal. Uh, what kind of feeling must that have been like to, to just ice the game with, with yourself and then do a one-arm push-up as your celebration? Well, even the goal itself was really nice. He used the running fake shot, which attacked the space and laid it off. Simple finish, but it was just very well registered in that scenario. But it's got to feel amazing. I wish that I had the opportunity to score with Mike LaBelle or even to score with Jimmy Conrad. But <laughs> that would have been nice. Jimmy, you can tell. Yeah. How does I know. It feel, Jimmy? You can well, I don't know. I'm, I was a center back. I never really pushed all the way up. Plus, EA never gave me – I was never fast enough. I'm still bitter about my pace. I still feel like I'm a little bit faster than I was. Different conversation. So, <laughs> Spent, the winner now, Nabil, is going to face Phil Foden of Man City. I'm sure you're familiar with Phil. How's his game, and how do you think he'll do against Nabil? You know what? I've never actually said this before, but I've always thought, whenever I've looked at Phil Foden, do you know who he reminds me of? When I look at him, <laughs> the way he, he kind of physique, uh, the way he looks facially, he reminds me of Tex. If you don't ah. know who Tex is, Tex is arguably one of the better FIFA players in the world, certainly over the last few years, a young kind of prodigy. Uh, who, who's, who's just been smashing it last few years as a FIFA player. But they, I always think when I see those two that I've never seen them in the same room. And if Phil Foden can channel the inner text in his FIFA performance, then he won't be beat. But, I mean, the Scandinavians are hard to beat. But I'm going to back, obviously, UK players. We've got we've to look after that scene and see what we can do. So I'm, I'm confident in Phil. So, Aga, this next question is for you because, and, and using Phil Foden as an example, the, the way he plays, do you think that that, that he tries to play the same way when he plays FIFA? I mean, like the way that you play football, does that really permeate and, and transfer to what you're doing when you, when you have the, the controller in your hand? I'll actually say the opposite, that I play football based on FIFA, like the way I'm, I think it's kind of a, a habit uh, that, that came to me. But I mean, potentially you could see it. I mean, so far we had a lot of attacking players playing this day in play cup and we got a lot of goals. So, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me to see Phil Foden playing a bit um, tiki taga ish All right, let's take a look at the highlights of the third match of the Stay in Play Cup. It was the acronym derby, PSV versus AIK. Nabil Bahui was the winner 4-2, to two, but let's see how he got there. He's down this first goal, Mike, but he finds his way back in. And he needed this because he had missed so many chances and any of us that played a lot of FIFA, if you miss your opportunities, you feel like it's not going to happen. You start losing confidence and no matter what you're doing, you have to have self-belief. Uh, but at the end of the day, Namil just kept making chance. I feel like this was his best goal. A little bit of a one-two down the end line, opens up a lane of space, lays it off. Some would say that it's sweaty. Uh, he passes it across, but it's a guaranteed goal. You can't miss from there. Yeah, here's a, a good look at the, the penalty that made it 2-2. Two -two. Classy finish. At this point, I thought it was everything to play for. Only 18 in-game minutes left. We thought we might go to our first golden goal of the competition, but here is the game winner. Spencer, what, do you, what did you see here? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't just one, was it? It was two he got in the last stage of the game, which I think shows you the kind of player he's going to be. You know, real champions can turn it on in the last second of games to, 